Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll look at time series chart on Earth's engine. Google Earth's engine uses the Google Visualization API to provide charting services. The charts or time series charts can be displayed interactively using the code editor console. In this exercise, we'll look at how we can plot time series chart on Earth's engine using a Landsat satellite data and a sample data point generated on Earth's engine. Let's start by um, importing a Landsat uh, satellite 8 data collection. So for this exercise, I'll import this image collection, Landsat 8 image collection. I'll uh, name a variable Landsat collection and an image collection i'll provide the image collection id and select bands from one to seven and you can select a different band combination if you're interested because this is a global data i'll choose my you know pass landsat pass and row because i uh, already know the area these are the pass and row uh, for my study site and if i want to I can run this script and okay, I'll rename this Landsat collection. That's probably where the error is. Okay, I'll run that. Should work. Okay, excellent. So I'll run this um, image collection. Um, we have about 114 satellite image um, and this is like uh, starting from 2013 um, and the next thing is because there is cloud contamination we would need to remove cloud or just uh, filter cloud contaminated um, image so the way I do that is import the, the image collection and um, sort cloud cover percentage. So in each image, there's a metadata that um, uh, provides information about cloud cover in terms of percentage. So I'll sort um, and I'll, when I usually sort, it's sorting in ascending order. Then I'll pick the first image. That means the least cloudy image um, in this image collection. So I have selected one pretty clean and cloud-free image and I'll use that for my uh, time series plot. But before that, let's visualize um, this image uh, and then let's um, define a visualization parameter. Uh, this true, um, I'll select bonds, bond 432 and then the min max. Um, and before we display, let's generate a sample point um, using this uh, lat long information and let's generate a 500 buffer around that so that we'll use this uh, circle to extract um, information from uh, this satellite image. And let's display the image, the cloud, um, the cloud free image. And also let's display our point sample point with a buffer of 500 meter. And finally, let's um, uh, adjust the zoom level uh, so that it focus on this um, steady area. And let's run uh, the script. We have now our satellite image, Landsat, uh, for the selected pause and row. So this is how the selected image looks like and also the sample point that we generated you look at here i can zoom in a little bit and excellent okay so this is the data point that we generated um here uh the sample point that we generated in this point and it also generated a 500 buffer so this is the you know the buffer that we created uh, around that um, sample point uh, which is in our study area and was in the uh, selected Landsat image. So what we're going to do is extract um, extract data from each image using this, um, this point or buffer and then plot that um, value, extracted value, here on the console. So let's do the printing. 
the uh, plotting uh, time series chart. So to print, uh, to plot a time series chart, we'll um, uh, pr print and then uh, bracket UI dot chart image series. That's what um, um, creates a time series chart. And then we have to provide the image collection that we um, want to uh, generate this um, time series. And this is the Lanza collection, the image collection that I um, uh, selected here, and also the the, the feature that we want to use to extract information from the image collection is our sample point. Here, as you can see, we already generated a sample point and a buffer around it, a 500 buffer. And then, how do we um, want to extract data by using a reduce a reducer? Uh, in this case, we would um, calculate the mean within that. Uh, buffer uh, within that circle, the mean values uh, for each Landsat satellite image within that circle, um, and um, a spatial resolution of 30 meter, just taking the original uh, Landsat pixel spatial resolution. If I run that, I'll have a time series plot on my the right side on the console. Here you go. So here is my, um, let me zoom a little bit okay so here is my time series chart that i generated using a landsat um eight image collection and here's the time uh from january 2014 uh, it goes to uh 2018 and here are the 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 bond values the reflectance values on the y-axis and the, the bottom of the x-axis, the, the time and the different bands. Band, um, uh, I selected, uh, you remember, I selected seven bands here uh, when I select the, the Landsat data. So I'm plotting all of these bands, band one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's generating a random uh, automatic um, color for each band. So you can see, you know, we plotted, you know, basically a time series chart uh, using an image collection of satellite um, uh, data from Landsat 8 and generating a feature, um, a point, um, and using that point buffer to calculate, um, uh, to extract data from that satellite image and uh, generate uh, a time series plot.